Hello guys and welcome. We are back with a, another showcase and this time we are doing Commander Riff. Um, this is my most recent custom I've done. Uh, some of you may have seen him as a quick cameo on uh, the live stream that I did with Steve. But um, I'll go through uh, what I used and the inspiration of it. So Commander Riff uh, as he is styled after the heavy metal band Rammstein so I thought well I've made him look like a heavy so let's call him Riff, Heavy Riff so um, yeah I've got 3D parts on here and what I'll do is I'll go through what 3D parts are and then how I've used them so this is a bootleg clone as well uh, from if you've seen my um, review of them this was the well, one of them, it was a first phase one or phase two clone, um, but this is a 3D printed helmet, which I'll get to. So the pouch is 3D printed. The arm piece is 3D printed. The magazine at the top here is 3D printed. The little magazine here is 3D printed. The chest piece is 3D printed here. And the pauldron here is 3D printed as well along with the helmet and all these 3d prints are from cd prints on um, instagram which i shall link him down below as well great service nice guy and definitely definitely will be using 3d parts again because it's so cool and um, you can make your clone look whatever you want but pretty much for this one i used flat black and flat red and that is it apart from the chrome silver as well and that is it on here um, and brown but the main colors are flat black and flat red um, one thing with painting um, the bootleg clones is that the plastic is so bad that the paint is really hard to keep on the um, figure so you have to do quite a few coats this one seems okay at the moment i just have to go over the legs a bit more but it is bad plastic quality but and again they are really good for customs because they're cheap but um so we've got full head articulation with the um 3d printed so what you do with 3d printed is you've got a ball joint there the 3d print fins come with a big hole in them so they're not ball joint but if you put some blue tack or white tack or just fill it up with whatever you can actually stick them on really well and you still have the articulation that you need so definitely worth um, picking up some 3d printed parts if you need them um, so what I'll do go over the detail that I've done as well so blaster rifle is just a generic clone blaster there and I painted it red uh, I've got bits of red on it. I've done the Ramstein logo there. Really steady hand to do that. Along with it there as well. And on his helmet. Um, but that is the main detailing I've done. I then used necklace chains here and here. Just as chains, accessories really, just to give him that kind of personality. Um, and they are super glued on. Uh, didn't want to do hot glue because I don't trust it with it doesn't stick as well I don't think anyway um, used Sharon Carter's knife I was looking for a reason to use that there we go um, but yeah that's pretty much all it is it's and to what I'm really happy with how this turned out and it has inspired me to maybe do some more band um, themed clones or Mandalorians the next one I might do is uh, a ZZ Top style one with like bright red, yellow, gold, black and we'll see how that one can turn out as well but I'm um, really happy with this one. Uh, Commander Riff is his name and uh, maybe I can do a, a whole squad of clones uh, that are banned, themed after bands and it could be like a, a squadron but um, yeah I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you like this guy and uh, Stay tuned for photos at the end. 
Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. See you later. Goodbye.